EPC, of course, means we're talking about gallium nitride, GAN, and in this case, John's going to talk to us about what you can do with GAN to increase the efficiency in the brick stage of the intermediate bus. So with that, let me turn things over to him and explain to us. Okay, thanks, Don. So what I'm going to talk about today is a, uh, the EPC 9115 eighth brick demonstration board. And so we decided to do this board because it was a good demonstration of what you can actually do with GAN in a, in a practical sense. So on our eighth brick board, which I can show right here, we have in this white outline here a DOSA compliant, fully regulated, isolated, 500 watt, 48 to 60 volt in, 12 volt output, eighth brick converter. So this converter is over 96% efficient over the entire load with a peak efficiency of 96.7% and a full load efficiency of 96.4% under, under uh, full load conditions running hot. And if you take a close look, you can see our eight FETs. These are the little blue rectangles in here, and those are the transistors we use in this 8th brick converter. And if I were trying to do this with a silicon MOSFET, I would need twice the area of those FETs. And what you can see is in the outline, there's no more room. So if I tried to do this with a silicon MOSFET, you can't even fit enough transistors in the space to do it. So that's the first reason we're going with GAN. The second reason is the efficiency. The GAN devices run much cooler, so I can put more power through here without heating up the board. And this is what lets me get 500 watts. What about this demo? What's, what's in front of us? Okay, so what, it, what I have in front of us here is in this box we have an eighth brick and I have a set of fans here because a typical operating condition for an eighth brick converter would be operating under 200 to 600 LFM. And so these fans provide about 400 LFM of airflow. And I have an input cable, I have this power supply down here that'll supply the, the input voltage, which normally in this case be it's 48 to 60 volts. And then this big heavy cable out here is for the output current because we can deliver over 42 amps, 43 amps out of this converter and that's at about 12 volts. So that's, uh, that's where we get our 500 watts. And uh, I, th I think, um, so the other thing in here is we, we have the fans to keep it cool and we have a thermal image of this that shows the maximum die temperature is about 100 degrees Celsius, 101 degrees Celsius or so and under full power condition with typical airflow. And normally the temperature limit would be around 125C, so we actually have a little bit of margin in here. All right, can you explain to us what the demo is doing here? Sure, Don. First, what I have in this box here is the actual eighth brick demonstration board. And I have this thinner cable on the input side, that's for the 48 to 60 volt input. And over here on the output side, I have this much heavier cable for the 12 volt output. And, and the reason I need such a big cable is because the output current exceeds 42 amps. And this all fits in the box to provide the airflow, 400 LFM, which is typical, typical number for a data center. So this bottom box here is our, our input power supply. And this gives us our 48 to 60 volts, and, and we'll be demonstrating it at 52 volts. And this bigger box here is our electronic load, and this is where we measure the output power. It dissipates the 500 watts, and we have a display over here that will show voltage, current, and output power. Okay, so we've turned on our power supply and set our input voltage to about 52 volts. And so now what we're going to do is, is take a look at the output power. So you can see we're just at about 12 volts and essentially no power. So now we're gonna start turning up the current and what you can see is our power going up. Now you'll note that the output voltage is dropping a little bit because, we're, because the, as the current gets bigger, we lose some voltage across the cable. So our actual output power in the converter is a little bit higher than what you see on the screen. So we keep turning it up. And so right now we're about to hit 300 watts. And we're just about, so right here, we're already exceeding the best you can do with state-of-the-art silicon. So, but we can do better. We'll keep going up. So now we're at 400 watts, and this is getting into quarter brick territory. 
And we keep going. We're over 40 amps. All right, and there we go. We're at over 500 watts, 505 watts, over 43 amps output. We're actually dropping about uh, almost four tenths of a volt in the cable. And that's it, 500 watts in an eighth brick. All right, so that's the demonstration. What kind of results did we see? Well, for this 500 watt eighth brick with a 12 volt output, we've seen a peak efficiency of 96.7% under and that's a thermal steady state so when everything is hot and a full load efficiency of 96.4 percent all right so where can people get more information you can get more information at epc's website at www.epc-co.com thank you thank you